Hi, everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we'll be talking about Rolling Realms Redux. This is a design by Jamie Stakemeyer, Carol Tatika, and it is published by Stonemeyer. All right, so there is a game called Rolling Realms, which we have already reviewed on this channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to that down below in the description. It basically teaches you how to play this game, Rolling Realms Redux. This is effectively a standalone expansion to Rolling Realms, and there's a whole, whole, whole world of promo cards and different things out there as well. So there's a whole lot of content for Rolling Realms, and this practically doubles it. Um, so this is a roll and write style game. Uh, you have two dice, you're gonna roll them, write down the values, and then everyone at the table or across the internet is gonna be able to write down those values and use them on three different cards. At any given time, you're gonna be using three different realms, the three different kind of cards. You're gonna roll those dice, you can use one of the value on one of the realms, one of the dice values on another one of the realms, and then you're gonna be able to activate all kinds of special abilities, ultimately with the goal of scoring as many points as possible. Each realm has a maximum of six points that you can earn, uh, and it's it's very, very tough uh, to do that if you can do all three realms. So yeah, check out that video, it'll teach you how to play, and then this one kind of gives you all new ways to play, all new realms to play on. I like that the iconography is consistent between this and that one, all the little you know, expansions they came out. I like that it makes it so easy to learn and understand what's happening with the game because all the symbology is the same you know what's happening you know what's going on so yeah there's all this variety but you understand it because it's all giving you the exact same symbology great great choice each one of these realms is effectively a mini game. It's a different way of playing a game. Um, the first set, the first original Rolling Realms, they were all based off of Stonemeyer games. So you're playing a little miniature version of Viticulture. You're playing a little mini game of uh, whatever it was, Scythe, right? And then the, the, all the promos that are coming out was they were collaborative games with other publishers. So you might come have a game from one publisher uh, with Stonemeyer using that game as a reference in a Rolling Realms realm pack, which is just a really cool idea. And this one, there's all different games from all over the place. Some of them are just classic card games like poker or yeah. you know, things like that. So it's, just, it's really cool how all these different mini games come together. Each one of them not only kind of references its own game, but they all play so very differently. Using just a couple of values, a couple of dice values, you have all these it's crazy like, number of games yes. that you can play with that. It's insane. I imagine Ryan is a designer, and I imagine from a design standpoint. I'll put designer in quotations. You are. He's. You have games signed. They're not out yet. Okay, but anyway. If I can buy them on the shelf, <laughs> then I'll feel better. But anyway, I imagine it's really creative from a designer standpoint to see you get a card. What are you gonna do with that? Like, I just imagine that is a fun game to see, see that, see how they've explored that and how they've done it with just that one game. Speaking of all the different cards and all the different games that you can play with, this um, edition has a compendium in it that has every single card ever for Rolling Realms. So whether it came in the original, whether it came in this, whether it was one of those standalones, it has um, this compendium and it lists all the cards. It is an exhaustive list and I and I like that like if you want something and you don't have it you can see if you even like the gameplay of it to see if you want to try to track it down to get it love it so uh roll and write games tend to lend themselves well to solo modes because um everyone's kind of writing their own thing on their own boards right yeah. and this is no exception um Stonemire as overall does a great job of making solo modes I'm not a solo mode player but because of how easy this is to table, uh, both original Rolling Realms and this Rolling Realms Redux had really robust solo modes that were attractive, even to me, a non-solo player. This one has a kind of a soccer theme to it, uh, which I think is just really, really cool. So you're playing this kind of solo mode and trying to get as many points as possible and you're trying to play against this soccer system. So uh, I really like their attention to solo modes and giving it a real, its own solo mode in addition to just being able to play it solo as a rolling realm, trying to yeah. be, beat your own score kind of a thing. Yeah. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, overall, I really like that. There's a ton of variety. There was so many different cards. And the thing that's nice about this is there were certain cards that I just didn't like playing with, but there's so many of them, just don't play with them. Like, it's really easy. You don't have to. You have so much variety, just don't play with the cards you don't like. You're going to have so much fun doing that. Um, and... I know this has nothing to do with the gameplay. It's just something I really appreciate it. We've been playing a lot of dry erase games recently, and I hate the markers on those because, like, the eraser that comes with the marker because it sucks. So I like that it gave you the little pad, the little, like, cloth thing to wipe it down. Oh, my gosh. 
these boards are gonna last so much, or these sheets are gonna last so much longer than some of our other stuff. Thank you for doing like that really simple, easy thing and not doing one of those erasers on the back of the marker. Blah. Anyway, um, and I really like- Hot take on marker <laughs> erasers. I really like that this game makes me feel clever because of all the cascading effects. You do this to get this so you can play that. So even though that's how the game is designed, it's designed to cascade like that, I feel like I'm so clever for having figured out this system. So I really like it when a game makes me feel smart. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is a brilliant design. I feel like you had to do it, come up with all these different ways to play using just a couple of numbers and having it all linked together using the same symbols and the same different, you know, there's the basically the pumpkins, the hearts, and the coins. Having used those utilized throughout and ways to earn them throughout. It's just a very, very brilliant system. I think that this is a great game for being able to play with over Zoom, right? Or, you know, any kind of video conference calling. All you have to have is a set of those cards. So you can either have your friend buy a packet, of, you know, buy this own copy or even mail them one of the packets that came with the game. And then you guys can just play over a video conference call and just roll the dice and just shout out the numbers. It's all you need to do and everyone can play no matter where they are in the world, which is fantastic. Um, this uh, Roy Realms Redux is a large enough box to it can store everything all together. I'm one of those people that doesn't like having like a bunch of boxes needed to keep all my expansions or whatever. I still don't like throwing away boxes. I so those know. two things oh like fight gosh. with each other and I don't understand how my brain does that. But I have We have a cabinet full of expansions. It's just the boxes. Empty boxes. But I can't it's get rid of them. Full. But I Absolutely like knowing full. that I can store them all together. And that's what this does. So basically what you can do is you can store all of your content for all of Rolling Realms in this one box. Uh, and then you have that on the shelf. And then you can store the boxes in your cavern. It's great. And then in addition to that, there's also a little kind of traveling box that it came with. Which uh, you can either just kind of ignore it and use it as a spacer, as a divider within the Rolling Realms box or the Redux box. But what you can do is it has enough room for some realms, some markers, some erasers, and you can just take a little, in the dice as well, and you can just take a little travel thing to go take along with you wherever you want to go, so that way you don't have to take a larger box. You can have just enough components to play a, like a two-player version of this, no matter where you go, which is a really cool idea. I love that. Everybody, thank you so much for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. Until then, you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this game was provided to us by a publisher for in exchange for a fair and honest review. And if you want to see more stuff, check out over here to see something we think you might like. And over here, we think uh, that YouTube has picked out a great video for you. You're going to love. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.